Hey there fam, it is me Ovi and this time I'm reviving one of my old videos. Back when I was a really small channel, not a lot of people got to see it, so I figured why not remake it and share it with you. If you have been here long enough, I'm sure you will remember it. Pokemon is a franchise that reached such greater heights in popularity that other series in pop culture could not resist but to reference Pokemon one way or another. From Family Guy to Spongebob, so today I'm sharing those small references that you might have missed. I'm sure you guys have heard of the show Adventure Time, and even in this crazy world it looks like Pokemon makes an impact. In the episode Joshua and Margaret Investigations, there's a scene where Margaret enters a weapon room and among all the deadly arms you can find a Pokeball. And depending on who's in that Pokeball, I'm pretty sure it will make a great deadly weapon. So now let's move on to the show American Dad. In the episode A Piñata Named Desired. There is a scene where Steve has a flashback of the sleepovers he used to have with his good old buddies. And it is in here that we get to see a pink and purple Pikachu on Toshi's shirt. Arthur is a PVS kids show that also jump into reference in the world of Pokemon. In the episode Arthur loses his marbles, you can see the characters playing a card game known as Dopimon. And there is even a card named Stinkachu. Somebody was salty that they were not as popular, if you know what I mean. The Cleveland Show has a small but cute reference to Pokemon. In the episode, a nothing but mutton bussin, while Cleveland and Rylor are having fun in the country fair, we get to see some nice cute Gengar plushies. Alright, so who remembers the show codenamed Kids Next Door? In the episode Operation Archive, when the camera points to the audience, you get to see a character dressed in the familiar Ash Ketchum's clothes. Pretty cool, huh? So, if the Cleveland Show did it, Family Guy had to do it as well. In the episode April and Quaghog, we actually get to see a poster of what it looks like to be a Machoke in Chris's room. I didn't know Chris was a Pokemon fan. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Man, I love this show. It was actually pretty funny. Well, they actually had an entire episode where they referenced the Pokemon TCG. This episode was called Hokemon. It was really obvious. The show Johnny Test actually dedicated two episodes to Pokemon. The first named Johnnymon and the next one called The Return of Johnnymon. There was a character named Blast Ketchup and they used the slogan, Gotta Snatch Em All. We even get to see a creature that is clearly Shadow Lugia and a Squirtle. The Simpsons had many references to Pokemon, but one of my favorite has to be from the episode Postcards from the Wedge. In this episode we actually get to see Bart enjoying what seems to be a Pokemon episode of Diamond and Pearl. You get to see both Ash and Pikachu. He even questions how the show stays fresh, which is funny because both shows were on the same boat. Steven Universe, a fairly new show that has referenced Pokemon in many instances. My favorite one has to be from the episode Rosa's Room. In this episode they reference a few of Nintendo franchises, such as Zelda and Final Fantasy. You can see Steven playing a game that is flat out Pokemon first generation. It's really nice to see that out there. The last two references I want to share with you guys is from another of my favorite shows since I was a kid. And you guessed it, it's Spongebob. To be honest, I wasn't even aware of this until I did the research, so it's always nice to learn something new. Okay, so if we take a look at the episode Sailor Mouth, which was a hilarious episode where Spongebob and Patrick learn how to curse, when they are at the dumpster, if you look closer, you get to see the name Onyx written on it. And lastly, in the episode Rock Bottom, when Spongebob is waiting in line to get information about a bus to go back home, we we'll get to see a clock that resembles a Pokeball. Well, there you have it fam, now you know about Pokemon and pop culture. Note that there's a lot of them, and these are just my personal favorites, so if you have one, make sure to share that in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, Pokemon fans! Mm -hmm.